Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's December 11th, 2020. Welcome to the second night of the eight breaks of Hanukkah. The first night delivered some classic shenanigans with a double cease and desist insert, and adding to the classic shenanigans nature of that GQ unmega box was the fact that we had zero variations or SPs shenanigans my hope is that the eight breaks lucky cup we're using was just feeling cold haven't been on the bench for so long and is ready to start swinging away tonight but before we break catching for the all jewish team tonight is mike lieberthal seen here in a card sent to me by a fab sub and his 91 score draft pick rookie card he's something of a phillies legend Drafted at 17 out of high school when he weighed all of 155 pounds. He played the bulk of his career in Philly, and he was inducted into the Philadelphia Baseball Wall of Fame in 2012. His bobblehead sat on the desk of one Dwight K. Schrute at a little paper company down the road from the Topps NPN P.O. Box in Scranton, PA. I still really want a legit Mo Berg card so he can catch for us someday. Uh, but his cards are pricey. I'm also interested in trying to land a Harry Danning card. Uh, He's a Jewish catcher I didn't know about, uh, but who was a four-time All-Star for the New York Giants from 1938 to 1941. Uh, All right, let's break. As always, check the description below for the link to the Clary's Goldberg Scholarship. You see cards you like, they can be yours for a scholarship pledge. Lucky Cup, are you ready to swing? Get into the box, all right. Let's rip like a kid! Ah! Oh, it's a it's a 2018 holiday box. Of course, we had to have at least one holiday box in the eight breaks. I haven't seen any. I don't even know if they're doing holiday boxes this year. Um, but I'm excited because obviously we're looking for the snowflake variety of like Acuna, Juan Soto, Glaber. Miggy, maybe, uh, you know, all kinds of good stuff in 2018. That that year was uh, the year that brought a ton of people back into the hobby. All right, as I uh, take the cellophane off here, uh, I want to let everyone know, if you haven't followed Shenanigans on Facebook, the evil machine that is Facebook, uh, I encourage you to check that out. That, that link is also in the description. Uh, because I'm going to try to start doing a little bit more video content for that exclusively. Uh, predominantly mail pickups, not stuff sent to me necessarily by fab subs. Um, but like if I pick up little cards here and there, I'll probably show it off on Facebook, uh, rather than doing episodes here for that. Um, and really, that kicked off because of these. I picked up a lot of 12, uh, actually 12 or, or even more than that, maybe, of these fortune teller cards with Lou Bob in there and Judge and a bunch of stuff. Um, and so I figured, oh, you know, I should start showing these off. And on that en- to that end, uh, Fab Sub Matt Spencer has sent me a package. Uh, and I, ordinarily, I would rip that uh, on the show. But since we're in the middle of the eight breaks and all that... Um, he, but he let me know that there are packs in the package. So I'm probably going to open that up on Facebook, uh, and then put the packs, or at least some of them, in Pick-A-Pack, uh, for the upcoming Pick-A-Pack episode of The Eight Breaks of Hanukkah. Okay, a lot of rambling. Ooh, is that our, our hit right off the top? Okay, well, let's save that. Look at that first pack fire. Actually, let's not, right? Let's just enjoy the shenanigans. Let's, let's get to it right away. A little Nick Williams action. Droya, let's slide it to the back. My guess is it's going to be a relic because they're always relics. I've never seen anyone pull an auto. Hashtag gave me for the PC. Look at that sharp looking young man right there with the sweet shades. Wait a minute. Okay, I was like, am I crazy? Did we just do a double Pedroia? Okay, it's going to be backwards. And our hit is. Javi Baez, not bad, not bad. Would have been cool if it was like the numbered variety and all that, but um, definitely a stud. Expecting big things out of him come 2021. Let's let him sit back there. We'll take that, though. They're fun. All right. 
So now the goal here, obviously, is the snowflake variety that has the texture, you know, the, the like, what are they, maybe I guess considered chrome or something like that. I wonder how the box describes it. Oh, we can get a gold snowflake. Wow. Crazy. Didn't even know about that. Something backwards, so that's our metal. All right, Soroka. Let's go this way. Uh, well, I guess not. Let's see who we got. James Paxson, the big maple. They do look cool, though. If you can see the little bit of texture, and they sparkle a little bit. Kimbrel, Chris Davis. Cespa, don't get hurt again. That's all he does is get hurt. Giancarlo Lordi, he hits the ball a long way. Uh, I am always up and down on Giancarlo because he gets hurt so often, but he did go on a heck of a run there in the playoffs. I hope he can keep it up for a full year. Nice little Anthony Rizzo action. Come on, where's our big-time rookies? Oof, we, and no foil in that one at all. I ripped one of these back in 2018 and got basically every big rookie in one box. And I thought, oh, they must all be that good. I mean, I pulled Acuna and Otani. Um, I want to say Glaber. I mean, it was crazy good. And I've never been able to match it. That's how they get you. They hook you with a great box. And you're like, I'm, I'm in, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying. And then you just never do the same. Jordan Hicks, Corey Dickerson, again, not what we were looking for. DeHappa. Oof, rough sledding here in the early moments. Lucky Cup, I don't feel like I should bench you, um, right? Because you got to stick with your swingers, but... You're, you're disappointing us here in this eight breaks. But 2020 has been a disappointment, so maybe that's just the way it goes this year. There we go. Not what I was, you know, didn't have the foil, but we'll take it. Obviously, Acuna, a superstar. Hopefully, you know, we'll trash here. Obviously, the grounds crew is on holiday break. Uh, you know, I'm sure Acuna... I think, I don't know, that maybe only the second one of those I pulled, but you kind of hope that as the years go on and guys like him and Soto um, just continue to be studs, maybe those wind up in a spoils pack for somebody or a giveaway, just something like that. I was reading up on Juan Soto and how they were basically saying he was like as good as Ted Williams if you just look at the numbers, and he is pretty insanely good. <laughs> that kid can rake. And another Happa. Nice. Joey Gallo. B Harp. Goldie when you're still with the D backs. All right, Lucky Cup. We got four packs left. Not great. Let's have a sip. I know you Lucky Cups like to be in use, but I mean, be useful. Don't just sit there and look pretty. Jack Flaherty. Cy Young in his future at some point, no doubt. He and Walker Bueller together, just crushing for years and years to come. Those guys can play some baseball. Forgot to say, too, about my Dylan Cease and Desist. I put it in comments on other people's channels sometimes, but... You know, when you get the hit starts coming, you want to go, no pitchers, no pitchers, no pitchers! Whammy. Nice Corey Seager. Brunette Odor. Blake Snell. Ozzy, Ozzy, Albies! Wait, wait, wait. Very nice. Big fan of Albies. So it's, it's a good box. The hits aren't there, but it's a good box in terms of solid rookies so far. Really just... A Soto here would be great. 
I liked how in 2019 they had those SPs with like candy canes and all of that. I don't believe they did anything like that in 2018. But I did have one box of 2019 and I pulled like three or four of those SPs in one box. Had um, like SPs, SSPs, and SSSPs. Lucchese, hopefully he comes back and plays really well. Um, he, he was really solid and then went down with injury. But again, the Padres are chock full of studs. Who we got here? Trevor Bauer. Now that he's won his Cy Young, I guess this is a, a good hit. Although, no pitchers, no pitchers, no pitchers. Whammy. He's the kind of guy that, like, he talked a lot of trash and, like, how good he was and he could throw hard. He was with Cleveland, and he was okay, uh, but I always felt like he opened his mouth a little too much, and he hadn't really delivered anything great, and then, of course, he wins the Cy Young, so shows what I know. And he does do some fun YouTube shenanigans of his own. Josh Bell, of course, as we're all waiting for Josh Bell to have a great year start to finish, not be so streaky. All right, last two packs. Come on, Soto. Dansby. Been making a lot of appearances as well. Mr. Swanson, heir to the chicken dinner fortune. Or TV dinner, I guess. Chicken dinner. Ahmed Rosario also waiting. Big things out of Ahmed Rosario. Sh put it up on the shoreboard wherever he lands. Merrifield. Garrett Cooper, former Yankee. Nice little Lindor. He had his brief moment with the Yanks. All right. Last pack. Can we get that last pack mojo going? Very few Yankees making any appearances, but of course it wouldn't be card collecting shenanigans without Hello, Starling, my old friend. Always got to be around. Jose Ramirez. Who we got here? Gregory Polanco. Wow, our foils were not good. I guess highlight Trevor Bauer, but not great. Christian Villanueva, Tim Anderson, and Hunter Renfro. So there you go. It was all right. Um, I guess other people might think it was a really, really great break. Um, just, you know, with some solid rookies here. Uh, I, like I said, I was hoping for Soto, but them's the breaks. That's how they go. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of today's second night of the eight breaks of Hanukkah. Let's keep it rolling tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to reading all your comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.